It feels amazing to be here at the Premier. Um, such a huge yellow event <laughs> for the yellow submarine, no doubt. But it's wonderful, actually. So, and lovely to see everybody here. We haven't seen each other for a bit. And it's lovely to get everybody back together and finally launch the film. And to do it in Britain, where, of course, the Beatles came from and our story is set. And we film almost entirely here. There's a bit in LA, but most of it's, it's very much a homegrown film. You know, very, very proud day to be here premiering it and, and its home territory. So collaborating with Richard, yes. So Richard sent me the script and I just said yes straight away, really. I've always been a fan of his work. I think his writing is very under recognised, really. He's a, you know, like Black Adder is one of the greatest achievements there is in British comedy. Um, so it was a joy to actually get to work with him on a piece right from the beginning. And I think he was relieved. He's so obsessed with the Beatles. I think he was relieved to be able to hand the responsibility of directing over to somebody else. So we got on very well and we had a very good time. Yeah, it was great. We have to be honest, is we're, it, we're, it, the part was originally written for Chris Martin of Coldplay. And of course we tried to hide that from Ed, but um, he phoned out and he said, you asked Chris Martin first and he's never let us forget it. But he's got a great sense of humour. And so the part, which is, there is some fun poked at him, but he also pokes fun back in a way. And he gives and, and takes, and he's such a great guy. And he, he came into rehearsals and worked very hard at it. And was a lovely presence on the set. I don't know, you'll have to ask him. I think he enjoyed being in a group because obviously he, he's a solo artist, so he tends to be on his own. But to be in a bunch of actors was a nice group feeling for him, you know, like being back in a band, I guess. I hope I get something similar to what you get from their music, really, which is a kind of joy. There's a, there's a slight note of melancholy always within it, and there always is in Beatles music, but the joy is even more profound because of that, I think. And um, I hope people take a life-affirming... Um, li yes, a life-affirming um, wonder from it at the end, really. The songs are extraordinary, and the performances are wonderful. Oh, the Beatles song I would be most sad about if I never heard again, I think, would be, um, oh my God, uh, A Day in the Life. 